You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge leaning out With us it's all or nothing and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is tiffany beeson from beauty and the beasons and i upload every single sunday and wednesday today we are doing a much needed reset kind of been like traveling we're at south carolina we went to like a golf outing and we're finally home and today was the kids last day of school which i'm so excited for but it does just feel like a little bit more pressure because i get the mom guilt if i'm not like completely giving them my undivided attention i'm trying to get stuff done around the house but you all know how that feels. We also have Carter's ninth birthday. Oh my gosh, nine. Can't. His ninth birthday party is this Saturday. We have about 50-ish people coming here. So I really just need to get all of like the majority of the cleaning and just like house maintenance stuff done today so that I can just focus solely on his party prep starting tomorrow. We're also gonna be planning today, which is always like a treat to me because it helps my brain and I feel like I just never get the time to like sit down and fully plan the way I want to. I'm usually just like quickly scribbling things in here and there. So I need to catch up on my planner. I got some dates in for the school year next year and just some early soccer tournaments we have going on. So I have some things to fill in there as well. Um, actually I made this planner. I have a short on it if you wanna see it, I'll link down below. But speaking of planning, I'm really trying to iron out some type of like a summer schedule for us. Our kids are going to camp three days a week, the end of June and July, and then August, I don't have them in at all because I just want them all to myself. But I last year they didn't do any kind of summer camp and it just, I felt like we needed it, not only so that I can get work done and life stuff done, but they get bored and then they're just like in the house and like complaining, they need stuff to do. So they're going to a really fun summer camp. I'm hoping they love it. So I have like some summer camp stuff to prep for, like all of that. Also, another big concern of mine in the summer is their learning because we all always worry that like when our kids are done school for the year that during the summer they're just going to completely forget everything that they learned the year prior. At least I worry about that. So I'm really excited to be partnering with IXL again. IXL has really helped boost my kids' confidence and work on anything that they needed extra help with outside of the classroom. And like I've mentioned in the past, I'm someone who really connects the dots at home by myself after learning in the classroom while studying or doing homework, and I see that in my kids too. The practice questions really help them learn with examples and are great for both audio and visual learners. I kind of feel like I'm a mix of both and it just, I guess it just like depends on what the subject is, but I see that in my kids too. IXL is backed by research that will improve your child's test scores. I also love that they have adaptive diagnostics that help you understand where your child needs the most help. IXL is trusted by over 15 million students and has been proven to improve performance in over 75 different scientific research studies. It is so supportive no matter what your child's learning style is or their knowledge level. IXL has built in tools like video tutorials, detailed explanations and learning games to help guide your child with their learning style while meeting them where they're at. One of the great things is that a family membership starts at only $7.46 a month. We have four kids, so that's a great deal. You get access to all core subjects for 25% off your first month or year. I will have everything linked down below for you. Definitely check them out. We've been using them for a long time now and I've heard all great feedback from you as well. So I know that you'll love them and it could take a little stress off of you this summer. All right, so we are on day two of our reset. Yesterday after doing IXL, we did the slip inside and we decided to go to dinner to celebrate the beginning of summer break. Um, so if you could choose family fun time over chores, always pick that, right? So we're picking back up on the chores today. We just got a uh, grocery order in from Sprouts. My first time ordering from them. It could just be the day, but they were out of like a lot of stuff. So I had a lot of different um, substitutions and some, some things that I got like a refund on. So this is going to be like we're doing some reset and then pausing, coming back because we have family photos today for our website and just have some new updated photos in general. So that'll be fun. But first things first, I'm just going to put everything away and just get the house ready for the photographer and then we will do the fridge and pantry and go from there. I'm going to start with both of those because they're the two things that are stressing me out the most. All right, so I know you saw the groceries sitting behind me, so I imported that part first just to do like 
little intro to what was going on, but here is Carter and I bringing in the groceries and I'm just going to do like a quick little restock and a little haul. I'm not going to tell you every single thing that I got because I'll be talking too fast, but you can see on screen here in a moment. I went slowly over everything we got. It was just a small haul, you know, a family of six. We go through this stuff really quickly. Um, but again, I didn't want to buy too much food because we we're going to the Bay House. So this video is done over multiple days because life took a turn um, while recording, but this is real life. First, in the first place, I was already just like so beat from end of school year stuff. And then, you know, I was in the middle of doing Carter's birthday party in between um, filming this and after Carter's birthday party was Father's Day the following day and Everly woke up from her nap on Father's Day with a 103 fever so she was fine we went to breakfast that morning everything was great and then she just woke up from her nap with a really high fever um, and then the next day she was okay and then she went downhill again and then the same thing for another day after that so today is the first day that she is like feeling good again it's morning when i'm filming this i'm praying that she doesn't go back down again it's gonna try to like make her take it easy but no fever now but this is mom life so i basically filmed over a few different days all the things that i was doing to be productive um and it's a lot so i think it will motivate you so just keep this on while you're getting all of your stuff done Now it's time for a restock. I do really love this little egg thing for this fridge at our house. However, I got a different type for the Bay House. I am so excited for all the Bay House content. Like I said, we're ending this video at the Bay House. I'm doing a couple things that you'll see there, but the whole house needs a really good deep cleaning. So I plan on filming that as well as just we want to redo all of the bedrooms and we want to redo the bathrooms upstairs and there's just lots of fun content. We also just got our decks done here and I'm dying to like put some lighting on them and decorate. There's so many amazing finds on Amazon. Um, so I've just been making like lists that I want to do so that I can slowly purchase things and get things done that I want around here. But I'm just already so happy to be here. I love being by the water and it's what we look forward to all winter long. So as you can see, um, the kids are helping me wash our produce. It's just something I like to do so that it's easy to grab out. So at this point, the photographer showed up and she was actually taking some photos of me just like restocking the fruit and everything. I love how the pictures came out. She already got back to me. Holly is amazing. She's literally the best. She makes me feel not awkward because I just genuinely feel like I'm such an awkward person like trying to take photos. I'm just not good at it. I don't know. But she makes me feel so comfortable and does an amazing job. But we're also just going to throw some barbecue chicken in the crock pot. I have four chicken breasts. This is a new um, buffalo. It's a buffalo barbecue sauce that I got. It's pretty good. We did wind up adding some of our Stubbs barbecue on top of it when we actually eat it. But this is just a good go-to. Um, just put it in the crock pot with barbecue sauce. And then the seasoning that we use is garlic, salt, and pepper. And you can do it on high for four hours or low for longer. But anyway, on to the next day. That day was crazy um, because I had to prep for Carter's birthday party. So I had to take a break from filming this. So we're moving on to the next day. We are making our bed and getting started on some laundry. And then I take a little hiatus because I make Carter's cake and do his balloon arch and all of that stuff. And that party prep video will be up on Wednesday, which I'm just so excited for. Um, again, always leave your request down below if there's any types of videos you want to see. I did start working on, which you'll see later on in the video, 
a checklist for the kids for both a morning and evening routine just to like keep us on track here. So far they have been doing their um, either IXL in the morning or a workbook in the morning which has been really nice because I do feel like kids can lose a lot of their knowledge over the summer. It's not something that I'm crazy about. Even just like 20 minutes will make me happy and then to read a little bit before bed but just honestly makes me feel better knowing that they are doing something educational. I don't know about you guys, but I do not have like a set laundry routine. Chris actually took the kids to the bay this day when I was getting um, like all of Carter's birthday stuff ready, which was amazing because I was able to focus on that and not stop a million times. So they were FaceTiming me from the bay. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, Cause we're literally not used to being apart. You know, it sounds so funny, but the kids and I and Chris were all very close and like they're like sad that I wasn't there at the bay with them because they know it's my favorite place. So they were like FaceTiming me to show me different things and it was adorable. But anyway, we are doing laundry. All the wet stuff on the floor is all my stuff that I hang. I feel like I hang 90% of my clothes so they don't shrink. So you know I always like to chat while we get things done and I just want to go over like some summer mom life stuff. If you're a homeschool mom, you probably like have it down pat because you're used to your kids being home all the time. But since I'm not and I'm used to the kids being at school and everything, one of my biggest things that I've been worrying about lately is just our meals in general because I don't want to be getting Chick-fil-A every day or like, you know, obviously once in a while it's fine. but. I have been trying to think of really easy meals. So that crock pot chicken is always like a staple of ours. Um, so that'll be one. Everyone likes it except for Tanner and Everly. So they'll have to find something else to eat that day. Like chicken nuggets we always have on stock. Um, real quick, this is me just like packing up our pantry and I'm giving it like a good wipe down too because it like something smelled like pepperoni in there and I don't have pepperoni in there. So um, it needed a good wipe down. So we have to get rid of like anything that's left over that can't go to the bay because I don't want any like, you know, we're leaving this house. I don't want anything to be like crawling around when we get back. So getting rid of anything like that. Most of the stuff we were able to take with us, but there was like some like leftovers of chips and stuff that we had to get rid of. Um, so that's what we're doing. We are packing up some stuff, organizing things, and we're going to wipe everything down and vacuum it out, make sure there's no crumbs in there. Okay, so I was saying one of my biggest stressors is meals for everybody, always, especially because we have lots of visitors in the summer and I always worry about feeding everybody. That's just like always, I don't know why I'm that way. I don't want to feel that way, but that's just how I am. So I have been like looking for like large meals to make easy things to put in the crock pot, just easy meals. We do have a Blackstone, which is amazing because I love it. We're going to be making a Blackstone meal in a minute here. Um, but we also have like one fridge and even that one fridge is not enough for a family of six when you make a lot of your meals at home so we are really excited because we're getting a new fridge that will go in the kitchen and then our current fridge that's in there now is going to go into the garage here so we have more space because i you know as a large family i love ordering from costco's and bj's and sam's club all those types of places and i cannot do that at the bay because i don't have space to put anything so really looking forward to getting our new fridge in and just doing like a fridge organization video and all of that. Um, for those of you who are new here, this is only our second summer at the Bay. So we're still, you know, getting used to it and making it feel cozier and cozier. But it's just, honestly, this was my dream since I was a little girl. We've been coming to Long Beach Island forever. So has Chris. Um, we're both originally from New Jersey. so. It feels amazing to be here. It feels like home to us. And we love that we can do this for our extended family as well and friends to come stay with us and just enjoy it and make lots of memories here. So I'm also a Cancer. My birthday is coming up really soon. I'm turning 36 on July 10th. Fun fact, Jessica Simpson and I share a birthday and I actually always like grew up watching Newlyweds and I've always loved her music. I know like a lot of people make fun of how she th she sings different things, but I absolutely love her. 
she also has like the best stuff like whenever i find like girls clothes that i love at tj maxx i look on the tag and it's like nine times out of ten it's jessica simpson's brand i have some of her purses her shoes her slippers i just always love everything i'm not really sure how we got on jessica simpson but moving on <laughs> i would the whole thing i was gonna say about like my birthday coming up and being a cancer is that i'm happiest in the sun and when i'm by water like even in the winter if we come here it is hard to come here in the winter because we're in so many different sports with the kids and gymnastics and dance but when we come here even if it's freezing cold it feels amazing just to be by the water i know a lot of you can relate to that um so now i'm just cleaning out the fridge you see i took mostly everything out except for any condiments that weren't going to be expired and I'm vacuuming down. I'm actually getting rid of some of these fridge liners because they're annoying me and I want to get something new in here anyway. They just keep like riding up and moving up and really not helping the matter because they still get crumbs underneath. I might need something with a sticky backing. If you have something you like, let me know. Um, but wiping this or vacuuming this out, wiping that down, and then we are going to pack up the car. It is not pretty. Packing up the car is always so ridiculous, but I am going to show you what it looks like before we head over to the bay. Back to summer stressors. And I say this because even blessings can make you feel stressed sometimes. So just getting a new routine here is really important to me. Nothing has been routine at all. And I thrive on routine as somebody that is just like, I've always suffered with anxiety for as long as I can remember. So routines are always very calming to me and just help me like feel like I have my life together and make me feel good in general. But with all the different parties and just end of school year stuff, um, soccer tournaments, dance recitals, nothing has really been routine because we've been so busy, which is fine because I love having fun, of course. But I am looking forward to just getting back on some type of routine, it's been challenging because Everly has been sick and we've only been here for a few days, but I did type out the morning and evening routine for the kids. I'm gonna print that out and laminate it so they can check it off on the fridge. And if you want me to upload it to my website, be sure um, to let me know in the comments below. I can either upload it how it is or I can erase some stuff to give you like a blank template. Just let me know. Um, but anyway, if you have something in your routine that you feel like really helps you in the summer or an easy meal that really helps you, be sure to let us moms know in the comments below because we're all here to help each other. That's the whole entire goal of my channel is to help moms and we all help each other too. You guys have helped me so much too. But look at this car, jam packed, ready to go. And yes, we even brought the ice maker. <laughs> We are officially at the bay and I'm going to stock up things here. Um, and I did remember my plants and flowers. So I was so happy to be able to bring these beautiful sunflowers with me because I had just recently gotten them um, and did not want to just throw them away because they're beautiful and they make me happy. So now sometimes I do feel like all I do is go grocery shopping and wash fruit and cook because that's mom life. and. We're back here at the bay and I'm basically doing that all over again. I needed a lot more stuff. So I went to the grocery store and it was nice because going to the grocery store, you save so much money sometimes um, when you're ordering. Sometimes I justify ordering groceries because I'm like, if I was at the grocery store, I'd buy more random stuff. But this time it definitely felt like I saved money by going to the store myself, even though, yes, everything is so expensive right now. So on our way to the bay, Chris took um, the Jeep and I took the Chevy. So I had three out of four of our kids and it was Ella, Everly, and Tanner. So on our way here, I was like, let's meal plan. We used to do this like in the beginning of school when things were really routine, um, but let every person pick a meal for the week. And that's what we did. We came up with Meatball Monday <laughs> for like pasta and stuff. Taco Tuesday, of course, we love Taco Tuesday. We said Wacky Wednesday, so we're having breakfast for dinner tonight on the Blackstone. And then Thursday is actually our 10-year wedding anniversary and Carter's birthday. Yes, he was born 
on our one year wedding anniversary. So we're gonna go out to dinner for that. Carter really wants to do hibachi. And then we'll figure out Friday, probably like grill or something. But I thought that was a fun little start and an easy way to meal plan for the week. This is not the new egg container, by the way. I got something different, so I might bring this one back home for our garage fridge or keep it here in the garage fridge because like I said, we have guests often and even without guests, we go through food really quickly. You know that I absolutely love grilling and I'm still like learning the Blackstone. I actually ordered some accessories for it um, to they're like it's like a little cover to help melt the cheese and bigger spatulas and um, what else was on there like the little egg makers like this circular cutout to make eggs so I'm excited I think it came yesterday um, dropping zucchini all over the place but I one I love being outside and two I just love the easy cleanup and like not having to do a million dishes Dinner is officially done. We have um, sweet potato fries and regular fries in the air fryer. Um, but it's funny because Carter actually doesn't like turkey burgers. Like it's really hard to find something that everybody likes. Tacos and breakfast are two things that they like. But anyway, we are on to the next day. I got to feed the swans this morning or just one swan and I was so, so happy. And I wanted to put my bird content in here. So I got this bird feeder last year on Amazon and I never like put it together. Not a bird feeder, a bird bath. Um, so I set this up under our mimosa tree and eventually this mimosa tree will be completely hot pink and full of um, hummingbirds. So I want to get a hummingbird feeder too. If you have one you like, let me know in the comments below. But I wanted to put out this little bird bath. It was so simple and then I also wanted to show you feeding the swan this morning because it brought me genuine joy. It was like 6.30 in the morning just me and the swan outside. Um, so here's Chris putting the bird feeder in under the mimosa tree or the bird bath. I don't know why I keep calling it bird feeder. The next up is the bird feeder. I got one similar to the one that I have at home on my window. So I'm hoping that they'll see this bird feeder here and, um, you know, well, that will get some little birds in here. But not least we are on to planning i do want to do like a whole like i don't know what to call it um but like cleaning the bay house and like getting our schedule together and all of that because i did get a really nice magnetic um it's like a weekly planner for the fridge and it also has a menu plan on it because you know i usually have that giant acrylic calendar at home but this is like a smaller one that just sticks to your fridge I already have like a monthly one on the side of the fridge, but I wanted something that was like weekly, especially because the kids will be going to camp three days a week um, from the third week of July. I think they go one week in June and three weeks in July, um, and it's only three days a week. And then August, I didn't sign them up for anything. We might do like soccer camp that's only like two hours in the morning just to get them out of the house and exercising. But August, I just really wanted to have the whole month with them, so I didn't sign them up for camp. The same way I like routine, I also like to plan. And I don't know how to explain the type of person that I am because yes, I'm type A, I like routine, I like things clean, I like things planned out. But I also love spontaneous days and doing fun things. 
So I don't know, I'm a little bit of both. I like to have a plan in place and then if things go off plan, it is what it is. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just how I am. And I love stickers in my planner, so this is what I'm doing for all of July. I've been really debating taking off the first week in July from YouTube and letting that be like my vacation week because I don't, I don't think I've done like a whole week off in a while. Um, and my whole family is coming to visit this like first week in July. Well, a majority of them, not all of them. Um, so I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. And then the next week is my birthday, but we'll see, because I have a lot of fun content planned and I enjoy uploading. Um, I just also feel like the 4th of July week is really slow. Like I don't know who's actually gonna be watching YouTube or not. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you do anything for the 4th of July or anything like that. But I'm absolutely loving this planner. I told you I have a reel on it and I also have a short on it with links and everything in the description box. But then I'm just gonna show you a quick overview of what I have so far for the kids' morning and evening routine. And if, let me know if you wanna have that on my website, just tiffanybeeston.com. Definitely sign up for my emails because once the website is refigured, which will be pretty soon, I've been working on it with somebody, um, we will have everything there, including written recipes that you can print out. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you on Wednesday for a party prep.